Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will talk about the geometric sequence. So last time, we have uploaded a video about the arithmetic sequence on how to find the common difference, how to find the nth term, and how to find the geometric means, uh, the arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence. So this time, I hope na matuto kayo sa akin about the geometric sequence and I will try to explain it further para mas ma-enjoy niyo yung learning natin. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically, geometric sequence is the next sequence when you're studying about sequence right after the arithmetic. So how can we simply define geometric sequence? When you say geometric sequence, Geometric sequence is a sequence with common ratio. So, dito pa lang, based on our definition, you can easily differentiate or you can easily tell what is the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequence. So, when we say arithmetic sequence, it is a series, num series of numbers that is, a for that's, that is forming a pattern with common difference. Now, when it comes to geometric sequence, it is a sequence with common ratio. Okay? Now, after defining geometric sequence, ito naman yung ating common formula or yung kilalang formula when it comes to geometric sequence. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, explain lang natin ano yung mga ibig sabihin ng variables na yan. Kasi importante na alam nyo yung variables before you gamitin yung formula. Yung a sub n natin, that is the last term of the sequence. Yung a sub 1, that is considered as the first term of the sequence. Yung n naman natin, that is sure, or that is the number of terms within the sequence. And yung r natin is common ratio. Now I will give you an example of a geometric sequence, a basic example. You have 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. So dito, as you can see, this is your first term, 2. So syempre, kung first term yan, that is your a sub 1. And this is your second term, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. So basically, explain natin paano nagiging 2, 4, 8, and 16. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung pattern dito, from 2 it became 4. So, ang, ang nangyayari lang naman, you're just multiplying it by 2. 2 times 2, it will give you 4. At yung 4 naman natin, para mapunta ka sa third term, which is 8, multiply it by 2, that will give you 8. At yung 8 naman natin, as your third term, for you to came up with the fourth term, which is 16, you need to multiply it by 2. Kung mapansin nyo, we're always multiplying it by 2 para mapunta tayo sa next term natin. At yung 2 na to, na tinutukoy natin, is yung tinatawag natin common ratio. So, since alam na natin yung common ratio, we can say that the fifth term of the sequence is 32. Paano? 16 times 2. So, ibig sabihin guys, or class, Malaki ang role ng common ratio sa geometric sequence. At sa next part ng ating video, I will teach you how to find the common ratio of a given geometric sequence. So let's start doing that. Sabi dito, find the common ratio of each geometric sequence and find the next three terms. So paano ba kinukuha yung common ratio? So if you have 4, 8, and 16, so simply, R is equal to 8 divided by 4. Again, r is equal to 8 divided by 4. And that will give you 2. Next, para ma-verify natin whether the common ratio is 2, you can also divide 16 by 8. Nakasunod po ba? So, simplifying that, it will give you r is equal to 2. Therefore, the common ratio is 2. 
So ngayon, alam na natin common ratio ng number 1. Ang next text task natin is to find the next three terms. So you have 4, 8, 16. So multiplying 16 by 2, that will give you 32. And multiplying again the fourth term, 32, by 2, it will give you 64. And the next term, or the sixth term, ay tinatawag natin 62 times 4, that is 128. These are the next three terms of the given common, of the given geometric sequence. Okay? It is ko lang ito. So you have... Number 2. In number 2, we have 1, 2, 4, 8. So 1, 2, 4, and 8. So try natin kung magiging tamay sagot natin. I think parehas lang siya ng number 1. So R is equal to 2 divided by 1. Mula rito, mag-divide tayo. It will give us 2. And then R is equal to... 4 divided by 2, it will give us 2. And 8 divided by 4, that will give us 2. So, ang common ratio natin ay 2. Ngayon, para mahanap natin yung next 3 terms, you have 1, 2, 4, 8, that is 16, 32, and 64. Yun next 3 terms natin. Multiplying the, the last term by 2. Okay, let's move on to item number 3. For item number 3, we have negative 8, negative 4, and negative 2. Tandaan ha, kapag kukunin niyo yung common ratio, mag-start kayo sa second term, papunta sa first term. So, let's start with this one. R is equal to negative 4 over negative 8. Since both of the numbers are negative, so positive yung sagot natin dyan, and simplifying 4 over 8, that will give you 1 half. And then, next one, you have negative 2 over negative 4. Parehas naman positive. Ah, parehas naman negative. So, our quotient is positive. And 2 divided by 4, that will give you 1 half. So, ang common ratio natin is 1 half. Ngayon, paano natin makuha yung next three terms? You have negative 8, negative 4, negative 2. Yung fourth term niya, para makuha mo, is you need to multiply your a sub 3 or yung negative 2 by 1 half. And multiplying it, that will give you negative 2 over 2 or negative 1. So the correct answer for item number or for the fourth term of the item number 3 is negative 1. How about the fifth term? Your a sub 5, kunin means negative 1, multiply it by negative, ah, sorry, by 1 half. So that will give you negative 1 half. So ang fifth term mo yun is negative 1 half. Now let's go with the sixth term. Para makuha mo yun si a sub 6, you need to get negative 1 half, multiply by 1 half. So... Magkaiba ng sign, negative. 1 times 1, 1 over 2 times 2, 4. So, 1 fourth yung ating 6 term. Now, for item number 4, ito na yung medyo easy pinagad ng bata na mahirap. You have negative 1, and then positive 4, negative 16. So, as you can see, alternating yung sign. So, mag-expect ka ngayon na yung fourth term niya is negative. Yung 5th ay positive and then yung 6th ay negative. So, una natin gagawin is to find the common ratio. R, mula tayo rito. Mula tayo rito. You have 4 divided by negative 1. That is negative 4. Para naman sa next, negative 16 divided by 4. That will give you also negative 4. So, para makuha mo yung next term natin. So, you have negative 1, 4, negative 16, Yung fourth term natin can be identified when you multiply negative 16 by negative 4. Alam natin na positive ang sagot dyan. And then, ang 4 times 16 
is none other than ano ba yan? 16 times 4, 40, 24, 74. Ah, sorry, 64. Okay? Tama ba? Next, yung 64 natin multiplied by 4, 60 times 4, that will give you 240, plus 16, that is 256, pero negative dapat, kasi negative 4 dapat ta, okay? And then, for a sub 6, multiply natin yung negative 256 by negative 4. So, syempre, positive ang sagot natin dyan. So, 200 times 4, that is 800. Then, 50 times 4, that is 200. It's 1,000, eh? So, 6 times 4, that is 24. So, this is 1,024. So, those are the three terms of the given sequence. And I hope na sa part na to is natutunan nyo na kung paano kumuha ng common ratio at ng mga next terms ng isang sequence in multiplying the ratio from the present terms of the given sequence. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.